Afghanistan has one of the highest mortality rates among women and infants in the world. 40% of Afghan children are stunted and cannot grow due to a lack of protein and nutrients. But amid suffering, there is always hope. In 2003, Dr. Stephen Kwan founded Nutrition and Education International, NEI, to end malnutrition among women and children in Afghanistan. Since then, Dr. Kwan and his team have been working tirelessly to bring nutritious soybeans from farm to table across Afghanistan. NEI has partnered with international agencies such as the United Nations and the South Korean government. NEI also signed memorandums of understanding with various departments within the Afghanistan government such as agriculture, public health, women's affairs, education, and the Afghanistan Chamber of Commerce and Trade. Over the years, NEI has created jobs for more than 600 Afghans. And by working with thousands of local farmers and village leaders, NEI was able to create a completely new industry out of nothing. But just teaching Afghan farmers to grow soybeans was not enough to eradicate malnutrition. A full value chain needed to be developed, including good seed development, mass production, food processing, and a soy food culture. In less than two decades, NEI succeeded in establishing a self-sustainable solution to hunger in one of the poorest and most dangerous countries in the world. So how did they do it? NEI began with seed sector development. NEI imported over 60 soybean varieties from the United States and South Korea and worked with Afghanistan's seed research teams throughout the country to test each seed variety for three years. By 2011, NEI proved that soybeans could grow in all 34 provinces of Afghanistan, and Afghanistan's soybean seed sector became completely self-sustainable. The different species of soybean are used in different areas of the climate test that is in the present and in the past 7 or 8 species of soybean are used in different areas of the climate of the country. And Afghanistan is used in the past 7 or 8 species of soybean and is not used in the past 7 or 8 species of soybean. With the seed sector complete, NEI created a soybean production sector for farmers prioritizing farmers living in highly impoverished villages where malnutrition among women and children is most severe. NEI taught farmers how to cultivate soybeans and distributed high quality seed and fertilizers. Despite many villages being unsafe to visit, by the end of 2019, more than 125,000 soy farmers throughout the country successfully completed NEI's training program. Once the soybean production sector was established, NEI partnered with Afghan business leaders to build 11 soy processing factories throughout the country. Farmers sell their soybeans to the factories, which then produce soy foods, including soy flour to make soy naan, soy oil, soy milk, tofu, and texturized soy protein or vegetarian meat. Because soybeans were a new food to Afghanistan, NEI had to develop a soy food culture that would create a market for soy. Since 2007, NEI has empowered over 20,000 female healthcare professionals, school teachers, and village women on the health benefits of soy and how to prepare traditional foods such as korma and naan using protein-rich soybeans. In addition, NEI worked with Afghan policymakers to incorporate soy in school and humanitarian meal programs. The president of Afghanistan also approved soybeans to be included in government menus as an economical source of protein, creating an additional market for Afghan soy farmers. The Afghanistan government recognizes NEI as the founder and leader of the soy industry in Afghanistan. Most of the time, you know, we receive grants, money, from development partners, which is a kind of giving fish. But the difference of NEI is that, you know, help people, work people to understand how to catch fish. In 2019, NEI accomplished its mission of creating a self-sustainable soybean industry. With a little more effort, NEI can use the soy industry as an economical and effective tool to defeat malnutrition in Afghanistan by 2030. 
aligned with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. To build on its success and momentum, NEI has established three goals to be achieved in the next five years. One, increase the number of villages cultivating soy from 3,000 to 10,000. Two, increase the quantity of soybeans being produced from 3,000 to 50,000 metric tons. Three, decrease the rate of stunted children by half in soy producing villages. Continuous support is needed to achieve these goals and eradicate malnutrition among women and children in Afghanistan. Thank you.